Lewis Hamilton has expressed his confidence in Mercedes' recent updates, which he believes have narrowed the gap to their dominant rivals, Red Bull. The team has shown increased vitality with its new update, leaving fans and experts wondering, is Mercedes back in the title race? Let's find out. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to keep up to date on everything Formula One. Mercedes has made a significant impact in the Formula One world with a series of extensive and exciting upgrades to their W14 car. These upgrades include an anti-dive front suspension, wider side pods with a cascaded wheelet, a revised floor with a double reflex on the G-line and a floor edge wing, and a surprisingly larger radiator inlet. The current Formula One regulations hold significant weight, with more than 50% of the downforce generated by the floor. It was during the final practice session in Monaco that Lewis Hamilton's unfortunate crash provided a glimpse of Mercedes' new floor design. A closer look reveals the intricacy of the floor in this particular area, showcasing a multitude of channels that serve a specific purpose – to guide and manipulate the airflow beneath the car. As Formula One cars are now heavily reliant on ground effects, the aim is to keep them running as close to the ground as possible. However, it seems that Mercedes has recognized the need for a certain degree of rake in their car's setup, prompting a significant shift in the overall philosophy of the vehicle. One notable aspect of this shift lies in the front suspension, which plays a crucial role in achieving the desired rake of the car. The anti-dot suspension has altered the pickup points and raised them considerably higher than before. This adjustment reflects Mercedes' meticulous approach to refining their car's platform, taking into account the importance of maintaining an optimal balance in performance. It's interesting to witness how the teams navigate the complexities of the regulations and explore innovative solutions to maximize their performance. The Mercedes team has spoken out about the recent enhancements, but are they pleased with their recent performance? According to Lewis Hamilton, the recent updates from Mercedes have made progress in narrowing the gap to the dominant leaders, Red Bull. During the Spanish Grand Prix, Hamilton showcased his skills by moving up from fourth on the grid to secure second place behind Max Verstappen. His teammate, George Russell, also had an impressive race, finishing in third position. This strong performance from the Mercedes duo allowed them to keep the recovering Red Bull of Sergio Perez at bay and finished comfortably ahead of the Ferrarist and Aston Martins. It was considered one of the team's finest races of the season so far. Although realistic about the current situation, Hamilton admitted that Red Bull still holds an advantage in terms of pace. However, he remains optimistic and determined, stating that the team will continue to work hard and chase them down. Hamilton acknowledged the need to take it one step at a time, aiming to get closer to Red Bull by the end of the year. If not, he believes they will focus on the next season. The weekend at the Spanish Grand Prix also provided Mercedes with an opportunity to assess the performance of their radical upgrade package, introduced at Monaco. This allowed for a correlation between the track and the design center, providing valuable insights. Toto Wolff, the team principal of Mercedes, believes that the team's double podium finish in the Spanish Grand Prix has validated their development direction. After a podium drought since the Australian Grand Prix, Wolf expressed his satisfaction with the team's performance and stated that it was a good moment to see their development choices paying off. Wolf attributed the team's success in Spain to favorable temperatures that suited their car's performance. He mentioned that the car was in an optimal window, allowing the drivers to extract the maximum potential. He further explained that the team had learned from the struggles they faced earlier in the season. Realizing that the previous car concept was not capable of moving forward, changing their development and setup direction was necessary to unlock more performance. When do the other teams think of Mercedes' latest performances? And could there be any room left in the budget for further upgrades? Keep watching to find out. Lance Stroll admitted that he had expected his team to be the second quickest after the dominant Red Bulls. He was taken aback by how easily Lewis Hamilton overtook him early in the race. Stroll couldn't hide his amazement, saying, They had a rocket ship today. I honestly don't know where they found that pace. I was fully expecting us to be the strongest car after Red Bull. After all the races this year, I thought we would have the speed to do something great today. 
but unfortunately, it just didn't happen for us. Hamilton's overtaking prowess didn't spare Carlos Sainz Jr., who also commented on the surprising performance of Mercedes. Sainz expressed, The biggest surprise for me is how close Mercedes was to Red Bull in this race. Sainz observed that Mercedes seemed to have become the nearest threat to Red Bull, remarking, I think our pace, considering that we finished around 45 seconds behind them, is more or less where we've been in recent races, like in Miami. But now Mercedes has suddenly inserted themselves between us and Red Bull, which is probably where Aston should have been. I'm not sure what happened to Aston today. According to Christian Horner, the team principal of Red Bull Racing, Mercedes has made significant financial investments in upgrading their W14 car. It remains to be seen how effective these changes will be for the remainder of the championship. Horner, speaking in Monaco, believes that the implementation of these upgrades has consumed a substantial portion of Mercedes' budget cap. Consequently, he asserts that the pressure is now on the Silver Arrows to extract the maximum potential from their car following these modifications. Now the question is, what changes did Mercedes make that produce the desired results? According to Davidson, it became apparent to Mercedes during the Bahrain Grand Prix that their previous concept was not going to challenge the speed of Red Bull. The car lacked the necessary grip, possibly due to changes in suspension regulations compared to the days of front and rear interconnected suspension. While that concept might have worked back then, Mercedes realized they were heading towards a dead end and decided to change course instead of starting from scratch. Kravitz highlights that with the introduction of ground effect rules, the previous car was not suited to exploit them, unlike Red Bull and Aston Martin. However, he mentions a small channel at the top of the left side pod of the Mercedes, which he jokingly refers to as a red carpet for the air to flow down the middle and improve aerodynamics towards the back of the car. The most noticeable change on the W14 is the larger side pods, aligning with the design philosophy adopted by other teams. The absence of side pods in the previous concept may have contributed to Mercedes having one of the slower cars in terms of straight line speed due to a combination of a slightly weaker power unit and increased drag. Davidson explains that the undercut around the side pods aims to channel the air more effectively towards the rear of the car. He also notes that Mercedes realized they were the only team with this unique concept, as Williams and Aston Martin quickly made changes in similar areas. Therefore, it became inevitable for Mercedes to make adjustments as well. Mercedes made significant changes to their car after realizing their previous concept was not competitive enough to challenge Red Bull. The introduction of ground effect rules prompted modifications, including larger SID pods, to improve aerodynamics and address issues with grip and straight line speed. The team's double podium finish in the Spanish Grand Prix validated their development direction, but they acknowledged the ongoing gap to Red Bull. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell expressed confidence in the team's progress, with Hamilton aiming to close the gap by the end of the year. What do you think about Mercedes' upgrades in performance in the Spanish Grand Prix? And do you think they will be able to close the gap to Red Bull before the end of the season? Let us know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date on everything Formula One.